fire. Luckily, I was able to assess where I was and make the exact correct move. This dash cam video, downright frightening. A man driving along the Loop 202 nearly crashes head on with a driver going the wrong way. All new at 5 o'clock tonight, we're hearing from that driver for the very first time since his brush with death. Yeah, all of it happened in the early morning hours on the 4th of July. All of it caught on this dash cam video. 3TV's Chris Plan out joining us now with this man's incredible story right here in Phoenix. So far this year, troopers have responded to almost 900 calls of wrong way drivers. And in many cases, those drivers turn around or they get off the freeway before troopers can even track them down. And I see these lights. Uh, looked like headlights, and I thought maybe they're on the other side of the freeway. Uh, quickly, I learned they were not. A car is coming straight at him on Loop 202. Still kind of uh, replaying in my mind every time I see the video. And I just kind of kept driving. Kelly Knoll is blocked on the right. If he doesn't get out of this lane, he's dead. So I floored it um, in order to get around this vehicle. Had I slowed down or had I swerved too soon or too late, it would have been a totally different story. The car whizzes past him. That is when my Heart started pounding really, really hard, and the adrenaline kicked in. Here's the rear-facing camera, and here's the front. Kelly's dash cam was rolling on the close call. I'm just thankful that I'm here. He's sharing the chilling video to tell other drivers to beware. Everything was here. I'm in one piece. He hopes it sends a message to the person who nearly killed him to learn from this mistake. Hopefully this won't happen to them again, or they won't do this again. Troopers were unable to find that wrong-way driver. In Phoenix, Carissa Planalp, 3TV. Wow, he really swerved just in time, Carissa. Thank you very much. Well, prosecutors here in Maricopa County reminding people they will face serious charges like aggravated assault or attempted homicide if they drive the wrong way. You're talking about people who are impaired, uh, and it's why we work so hard to try to cut down on the instances of impaired drivers as well. Uh, you don't accidentally go the wrong way on a freeway if you're sober and paying attention. Well, of course, this has been an all too frequent problem. And as to why it keeps happening, people aren't really sure. Maricopa County Attorney Bill Montgomery today told us it could be because we have so many freeways. ADOT's planning to launch a wrong way detection system later on this summer.